So I'm Vlad Marinescu, I'm the Chief Media Marketing Officer of the International Judo Federation. And our entire media team has prepared this amazing presentation in order to help you during this difficult time of being at home to maximize your engagement when you're posting. Let's go through the presentation. The Media Guide to Instagram will go through three different phases or levels to help you promote your social media, to help you grow your fan base, and to help you communicate. The main level will be how to post efficiently on Instagram. Then we're going to speak about your brand, you as a professional athlete that's followed by people who has fans. And finally, we'll show you some tips and tricks of how to ensure the highest quality of what you're producing. Again, the target of this is only to help, to help you get a better understanding of how to control your social media. So let's begin. To start, the IGF Instagram handle is at Judo Gallery. We have more than half a million followers. And as you've noticed, we're intending to post and tagging all of the elite athletes as content becomes available to us. It's here to help and we're very happy to use it to promote your activities and to promote your social media as well. How to post. Let's go through a basic post. The first thing you want to do is you want to tap the plus post icon. Here in the video, you can see that you select from your gallery the image that you'd like to post. Following selecting your image, you're able to use filters to crop it, to change the image of it, to make it beautiful. And then you type your message. The most important thing about a post, of course, is the quality of the image in itself. But the second is the hashtags that you include inside the post. So after you've posted your message, make sure that you're hashtagging, you're adding emojis, you're adding ads to identify other peoples in the post in order to maximize its reach and its efficiency. Let's see some sample posts from different tournaments around the world. As you can see here, two examples. The basic formula that we recommend you always can be changed, of course, but should always include referencing where you are, what event you're doing, and who you're with, especially having hashtags that promote that same event in order to be able to link your image to people who are searching for that type of image. Now, outside of competition, it's important for you to continue your social media with private posts. The idea behind a private post is to let the fan into your brand identity, into who you are. You want to be playful with these and you want to share your personal life that can be public because we are going to go through it later, but we need to remember social media is public in a way that the message that you're posting can represent you well and build your personification, your brand. If you have videos which are longer than basic posts, Instagram has made Instagram TV. Instagram TV lets you engage with additional fan base with longer videos as well as make series. So if you're trying to do a type of education around exercising at home during this difficult time, you can do it in series and link them together and followers, not just from your page, can find you by looking on Instagram TV to similar content. It's very important to manage the balance between the quality of the items that you're posting versus the time efficiency. Definitely, you don't want to take too much time to edit a content because on social media, due to the frequency of our posting, articles and content become expired very fast. But at the same time, you don't want to just post a picture from somewhere you haven't had a chance to look at. It's very important that when you take a picture or you take a video, that you're very careful about what you're showing. And one important thing, you should always edit and view your picture before posting. So don't always just go to the post button on Instagram and press post. Rather, use the editing software either in your phone, directly by taking a photo, cropping it, working on the color gradients, zooming it in, making it straight, framing it, or a more advanced software like Photoshop, depending on your abilities and what you have at your disposal for that time. Very important, make sure that after you edit your photo, when you post it, you do not forget the various hashtags that link it to which activity it is. Let's talk about brand. As a professional athlete, you are a brand, and the way that you cultivate that brand is very important to the type of image that you will have efficiently showing which types of sponsors, which types of companies, which type of brands want to be associated with you. Always when you're speaking about social media, you're giving the public, your fans, people who appreciate your athletic performance, an insight, not only to your athletic performance, that's just the beginning. People want to know who you are. They want to know more about you. They want to know about your friends, about your family, about the things that make you happy and the things that you promote the things that you like, and when they find a similarity 
with things that you like and things that they like, that it merely will engage further people to follow you, to subscribe to you, and to interact with your pages, thereby increasing the viewership of the content that you're posting. We've spoken about this for a second, that you need to be able to identify your brand, who you are and what you like, in line with your personality. And at the same time, we recommend that you're able to do a quick study to understand which companies out there in the world, whether it be a sport company, or whether it be a company that's working in nutrition, or a company that's working in cosmetics, whichever type of industry there is out there, you need to identify what is your brand, what is your identity, and what companies out there in the world simplify or represent that identity in order to create a pair and to be able to attract sponsorship to yourself and to your activity. Let's talk about a couple quick tips. The do's and don'ts of Instagram. At the same time, this presentation will be available for you to download in the description of this article. I'd like to only mention one important thing here. Tagging. Tagging other people, tagging the International Judo Federation, tagging your national federation, your club, your friends, is the most vital component of creating the network infrastructure around the cross-promotion of your content. So for example, when you're posting a video with your favorite dog walking in the park, tagging the dog will automatically link your video to all of the matching points around dog, athlete, activity, running, sport, which means that you'll be able to attract to you more followers and people who are searching that content. It helps you to maximize the delivery, the exposure, and the viewership around every post that you have. Privacy is very important to mention. Social media is public. Everything that you are posting is on the internet and accessible by the majority of the people, if not everybody. If you want to post your private things, make sure that you separate your private account from your official public account. You are a star, you're a hero, you're an athlete, you're followed in the World Judo Tour. This means that you have fans, supporters, people from your country who love you, who support you and who want you to win and want to know more about you. The content that you're posting, make sure always does not release or does not show the very private things in your life that you want to keep there. A very important rule that we have to mention is that the language that you use, the tone that you use, are going to all reflect back your brand identity. If your brand is that you are a charismatic, athletic person with values, speaking about the eight values of judo, for example, then what you're posting should not reflect anything other than that in a negative form. A general rule is imagine that what you're posting, your mother, your grandmother, your family will be able to see. If you think they would feel uneasy about what they're seeing, you probably shouldn't post it. Now we're going to talk about how to promote your brand further. So as we mentioned before, hashtags, vital, important in order to cross-reference different points of view and, and different posts that are similar as well as help people find your post about the topic you're presenting or posting about. Tagging partners, international federations, venues, countries, cities, activities also will put your post into a topic, into a category that can be further found out. And the most important thing at the same time is to interact. Social media isn't about just posting your message to the world and having it be read. As you notice when you post, you have there a lot of likes and a lot of comments. It's very important to take the time to look through your comments, like the ones that you like, answer the ones that you don't. Every time that you have a comment or a post that's a call to action, you're asking the person, which shirt should I wear tonight for my training? This red Nike one or this blue Under Armour one? It's a question that calls to action a response from the people watching your post. The more that people are answering your post, the more that they're commenting on them, sharing them and liking them, the higher the algorithm of Instagram will post you inside the stories, the daily feed of every user. So make sure that you're always interacting with the people and your posts are not only showing yourself of what you're doing, but rather engaging at the same time. Other items that can boost your engagement? Of course, when you're posting, it's been proven that pictures of people, pictures of you, have a lot higher efficiency rate than pictures in general of a meal, a sandwich, or as landscape. Make sure that you're posting pictures of yourself. Make sure that you're posting pictures with friends. Videos are 
eternally important. And sorry, one more thing to say about the pictures. When you're adding pictures, it was in the do's. Make sure that you don't put just one picture, several posts one after another, but rather join them together if they're from the same theme, from the same event, or from the same activity. Timing is vitally important. We'll get into that with the next slide. Stories give people an inflection of what you're doing in that moment. Stories to define in just one second, it is temporary. It goes away in 24 hours. Stories are quick informations that arise on people's feeds to show them what you're doing in that moment. Make sure that you're interacting both with stories and both with posts. And remember that with stories, you don't have like counts. Stories just allow your fan base to follow you further. To go forward to the uh, timing of it, we have a nice representation here that shows you exactly what is the ideal time to post. And we found out that on Wednesdays, around 5 p.m. is the moment when most people will engage with the content that you post. Because of the wide posting and mass posting of content on social media, you can imagine that a person who follows 1,000 people cannot possibly see 1,000 posts while they're looking through their phones and scrolling through their feeds. All of the things we spoke about, they help you to be better placed and to show up on all your followers' feeds at a higher level. But at the same time, the time that you post them, the time they become available, since the feed does post the newest content first, is vitally important. So try not to post in the most dark areas to say on a Sunday night at midnight. Remember that social media is fun. This is an activity that lets people in on you. Your fans, they see you in competition. They see your competition side. They see you serious. They see you from the point of view of being a professional athlete. Social media is fun. You need to show people who you are outside of competition. And you can do all kinds of different activities, whether it be joining in on certain movements, like the white card that we did recently, or joining in on lives with other friends and doing stories of lives with other friends. Join movements, hashtag activities that you're involved in, and make sure you're posting again images of yourself. So to finalize, social media is a very powerful tool. And the way that you use the tool is very important for the success of the increasing engagement around your fan base. We hope that this helped you, give you a couple of ideas, give you a couple of directions. The IGF will be sending some type of template text and the presentation for you to be able to download the content and review at your own time. On behalf of our president, Mr. Maris Fieser, on behalf of the International Judo Federation, we wish you a lot of health in this difficult time. We hope to see you again very soon. All the best. Thank you.